Women's World Cup in action right now. We bring you our version of the World Cup. It's Marble Soccer. Hello, welcome to MSPN's coverage of Marble Fubica. I'm Rick O'Shea. Glad to have you here for our Marble Soccer Tournament. There is the beautiful cup that these teams will be competing for. 16 teams. There are many representatives of those teams. And some of the countries that aren't even being represented here today in this competition have some fans and onlookers watching on. See Argentina, we saw Vietnam just a second ago. Large supporting sections as always for Brazil. We've got Indonesia in this tournament. And down of course towards the bottom, the United States, one of the powerhouses of this competition. The way that this tournament will work is very simple. You're going to get run, one run with each other, kind of like collision soccer. And at the end of that one turn, which will be three, I think it's three marbles we're running at a time. Whoever comes up with the most points, most goals scored, will move on. One and done. So the opportunities and the uh, margin for error, very limited here in this competition. As you look at the 2019 team statistics, Brazil... Russia, England, right now in the medal spots, all the way down to Cameroon in 14th. And a look at our field for today's competition. Indonesia against France, and the Netherlands against Brazil in the bottom left quadrant. Top left is Argentina, Russia, Vietnam, and the Korean Republic. On the right side, it's the Philippines, Mexico, Colombia, and India. And then Malaysia, Portugal, and it's Canada against the United States in round number one. But first we start in the bottom left of our bracket. And our first matchup today will be Indonesia against France. To the starting gates, and it is four marbles that will go for each of our teams. France in the dark blue, Indonesia in the clean white. And they are off and... The scoreboard shows 2-1 to one Indonesia. They will take out France. Here's a look at the replay on the right side. You see France's first goal there was Indonesia. And there's the winner on the left side of the screen. Just sneaking in. And Indonesia will move on, beating France 2-1. to one. It's The top right of the screen, and it is, or top right of the bracket, it's the United States against Canada. This is a big time matchup. Canada on the left side in the mostly clear. USA in the silver. The United States has one. Here comes Canada. They're not going to get anything. And the U.S. lands one in the right goal, and that's enough to win it. Right there is the winner. And it looked for a moment as though a couple of the Canadian marbles were going to have a chance to roll their way in. They cannot. And the USA advances to the quarterfinals. Next up is Vietnam against the Korean Republic. There's Korea. There is Vietnam. Vietnam had a lot of success in their last tournament that they participated in. They're in the yellow. And they scored at least one there. Here comes another one. They will score again. And Vietnam with a 2 to nothing win over Korea. Put one in at the end there for some good measure. Right at the beginning they score one and then at the end. Wasn't the same marble. It almost looked for a second as though it was the same marble that scored twice. It wasn't, but it is two marbles for Vietnam that find their way into the goals and win this one by a final of two to nothing. Mexico against the Philippines now. Mexico again in the green and black. And the Philippines, white, blue, red. Matchups. Oh, that's at least two for Mexico. The Philippines won't do anything, and Mexico scores two right off the bat in the right corner and are able to win this one by a final of two to nothing. There's one, there's two, and that's all they need. One held it in the basket. The other one came back out of the goal to try to score another, but it's two nothing again, and that is three consecutive rounds now that we've seen one of the teams being held scoreless. 
The US won one nothing, Vietnam won two nothing, and they were Mexico two to nothing. This matchup is the Netherlands and Brazil. Very colorful and uh, unique marbles here. That may have been a couple for Brazil. It's three to one as the Netherlands pick up one. I'll tell you what, that one marble for the Netherlands trying to score again. That was the one that did score for the Netherlands and one, two, and then on the left side you saw Brazil put in one extra one and then the Netherlands score their one marble. It's a three to one win and Brazil is moving on. They will face Indonesia in the second round. Back to the right side and it's Malaysia in the yellow and black. Maybe it's brown, hard to tell there. They'll take on Portugal in the green. They are off and Malaysia scores a couple. Portugal puts in only one and Malaysia is going to move on to take on the United States. One on each side for Malaysia. Made contact right in the middle of the field there and split off one way and the other and they both go in. So a good run there for Malaysia. They're going to take on the U.S. And now it's Russia against Argentina and the winner gets Vietnam. Argentina in the white and light blue. Almost solid red for Russia. And they will be denied. Oh, at the last moment. Nope, that marble is not going to go. Right on the line. It does not cross. And Russia is eliminated by a 1-0 score. There's the one score off the post and in for Argentina. And at the very end, Russia unable to get that last marble to just roll a little bit further. About 50-50, but it's got to go in. It did not, and Russia is eliminated. Argentina is moving on. That is an absolute killer. And now the final first round matchup is India against Colombia. Colombia in their classic yellow, blue, and red. Oh, somebody fell off the entire course. Here comes India at the last moment to score and win. Look at that. It looks like it was yeah one of the Indian marbles didn't even make it onto the course properly. Fell off the ramp there and at the last second. Rolling in and none of the Colombian marbles were there to try to make a block. And so unimpeded, India goes in for the score and the 1-0 win. And the first round is complete. And now we play for a spot in the semifinals. First matchup is Indonesia against Brazil. Brazil put in three, which was the most we've seen in the first round. They take on the first game winner, and that's Indonesia, who has one. Indonesia now has two, and Brazil doesn't pick up any. How about that? Indonesia with a bit of an upset. They win this one by a final of two to nothing. And they've outscored their opponents 4-1 to now through their first two rounds as they head to the semifinals. And they are now guaranteed a spot, at least in a, uh, a competition, to get onto the podium for Indonesia. Who doesn't always participate. Here's one team that always does participate, the United States, as they take on Malaysia. Three entire rows of supporters for both of these countries. Yellow and black against silver and white. They are off. And the United States has a couple. Malaysia put in one, but it's three for the United States. And the USA is moving on. The left side put in two for the U.S. And the right side had one for each. So it's the left side scoring only U.S. goals. That ends up costing Malaysia their chance. And the United States is on to the semifinals, and now Argentina takes on Vietnam. Vietnam in the red and yellow. They've got one, and it looks like that might be all we get. Everybody else is towards the center of the field. It is, and Vietnam wins it by a final of one to nothing. They are on to the semifinals in a 
low scoring affair and they're gonna get it's gonna be Indonesia against Vietnam in one of the semifinals the United States waits for the winner of India and Mexico India winning with that last second goal Mexico looks pretty confident in their win Did Mexico score? I don't know if we had a score there. Yep, we did get one. As the scoreboard shows, Mexico won. Yeah, there it is. It came out very quickly, but it did go in at the very beginning. Mexico is moving on as they shut out India 1-0. Into the semifinals now. Two powerhouses, the United States and Mexico. Two underdogs, Indonesia and Vietnam. We begin with the underdogs. Indonesia had a nice one there last time. And they're going to do it again. They're going to get another one to fall in. The last one at the end for an exclamation mark couldn't quite go. But 2-1, to one, Indonesia is into the final. Once again, the inability to block becomes very important as that one Vietnam marble unable to block the other Indonesian. And Indonesia nearly put in a third one just for good measure. 2-1 ends up as the final. And now we get the United States against Mexico. And they are off. Mexico's got a couple. The U.S. is in trouble. They're not going to score any. 2-0. Mexico is into the finals. As the U.S. is unable to score. And now we will see Vietnam against the United States for third place. Disappointing finish for the U.S. who looked pretty easy, uh, pretty uh, confident going through those first two rounds. But now they're going to have to battle with Vietnam for a spot on the podium. The United States have two, maybe three. They do give them that third one. Vietnam scored only one, and three to one is the final. The U.S. takes third place. They get on the podium. And now the sights are turned towards Mexico and Indonesia. Mexico has had a lot of success in these tournaments. Getting deep into the tournament runs. They've won a couple of tournaments. They look for another against Indonesia, a huge underdog. But Indonesia has been very impressive. As you see, there are two rows of supporters, three full rows for Mexico. Maybe a little bit of David versus Goliath as they head to the field. Mexico's got a couple. Indonesia scored only one. Mexico is going to win it. Three to one, the final. And the Mexicans again take home the gold. Valiant effort by Indonesia, but they had a couple of marbles that didn't even make contact with anyone else. And when you have a couple of marbles that just run free, makes it a lot harder. Mexico is the winner. Indonesia gets the runner-up spot. And third place to the United States. Impressive run by Indonesia, but it wasn't to be as Mexico gets the win. They take home a very impressive trophy for this competition. First place to Mexico, second place to Indonesia. And the bronze goes to the United States. Congratulations to Mexico and all of our competitors. As this was a uh, very hard fought competition. And ultimately the Mexicans take home gold for the marble soccer. So until next time, I'm Rick Roche and thanks for watching MSPN's coverage of Marble Cubica.